French lawmaker denies he was paid to promote a crypto scam in National Assembly. A French lawmaker has been accused of promoting limo coin swap Elmopswap, a suspicious African crypto project but denies claims he was paid to talk up the coin in the National Assembly by lobbyists. The claims were the latest to come from the newspaper's Le Monde and Media Parts investigations into an Israel-based firm named Team Jorge. Media Part and Le Monde explain that the MP, Hubert Julian Laferriere, last year made off-topic remarks about a token named Limo Coin Swap Elmuk Swap at a meeting of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the National Assembly. The media outlets referred to the token as a cryptocurrency that was launched by the Cameroonian businessman Emil Parfaitsim. Since 2022, they noted hundreds of individuals have accused Parfaitsim of orchestrating a Ponzi scheme. A report from June Afrique in August 2022 explained that the businessman had emptied his bank accounts and fled his native country. The coin is built on the Binance-run BNB chain, and the complaints late year drew a response from Binance Africa. Julian Laferriere represents the Ecologist Nukes Coalition of Parties and was elected to serve as an MP in Central Lyon. He began his career as an MP in 2017. And the investigators claim they had evidence that the MP was paid to speak about limo coin swap in the French Parliament by the lobbyist Jean-Pierre Duthian. French lawmaker, nobody paid me to talk about crypto in Parliament. After the allegations were made public, the MP took to Twitter to claim that he was not being paid by anyone. He wrote, I strongly deny the assertions that I am at the service of Duthian. I refute the idea that I could abuse my status. In any way, Julian Laferriere claimed that his cryptocurrencies related comments constituted a manifest error of judgment, but he claimed that there was no other episode that could suggest he would act under the influence of Duthian or any other lobbyist. Duthian has been accused of collaborating with the BFM TV news presenter Wretched Embarky in a scandal that has rocked the French media. Investigators claim that Embarky took payments from Team Jorge to report on stories at the latter's request. BFM TV has suspended Embarky pending an internal investigation. Julian Laferriere reportedly denied taking money from Duthian, but he reportedly admitted meeting the lobbyist in top Parisian restaurants on several occasions with Duthian footing the bill in each instance. Parfait Sim, meanwhile, reportedly left Cameroon in the spring of 2022. In January, RFI reported that he had taken up residence in the Central African Republic. The same media outlet claimed that Parfait Sim last year launched the so-called African Organization of Rasophony, a pro-Russian group allied with a Russian university and social media influencers. Le Monde reported that a petition to remove the coin from major platforms had already garnered some 8,000 signatures. The same media outlet remarked that it was able to identify several Twitter accounts that seemed to have been created between the end of 2021 and the beginning of 2022 with the aim of defending Limo Coin Swap, Associated Companies, and Parfait Sim. However, the newspaper remarked that these accounts do not seem to be linked to Team Jorge's network of fake accounts. Alleged victims have claimed that Leap Limo, the company that issued Limo Coin Swap, performed a rug pull. Rug pull type scams typically see an issuer launch a crypto and suddenly vanish with their investors' funds. A number of Twitter accounts have called the coin whose current market worth is around two cents down from highs of almost nine dollars Africa's Bitcoin. On the project's website, Leoplomo claimed that it would pay investors interest every week and gave details of a range of 24-month sticking contracts that offered returns of up to 74%. The website appears not to have been updated since early 2022.